Welcome back. All right, so madness board it is. Um, I, I didn't use a bunch of magnets on this one because that would get out of control quickly, trying to get magnets for every single player from every single year from 1982 through to 2017. So what we've got on the board here is Calder voting because every year we have the debate about who should win Calder. And then the question comes out of, yeah, but is he the best player in the rookie class? Which I think are two different questions. I think the best player in the rookie class is not necessarily your Calder winner. So I wanted to go through and find the numbers. And so Hockey Reference has all the voting results. Uh, and so I decided to start with 82. Because uh, this is right around where I came in to start watching hockey quite often. Uh, Dale Howarchuk wins it that year. Barry Peterson was second in in, in Calder voting. Not Vesna, Calder. Uh, Grant Fear is third. But what's really interesting is Ronnie Francis was 10th. And Joe Mullen was 11th. Of course, Ron Francis, Hall of Fame career. Howard Chuck, Hall of Fame career. Grant Fear, Hall of Fame career. Barry Peterson, very good color announcer for the Boston Bruins. 1983, Steve Larmer wins the Calder. Uh, Housley was second. Scott Stevens was third. Pelly Lindbergh was fifth that year. So uh, Lindbergh, of course, short career. Uh, passed away in an auto automobile accident. Absolute shame. But Lindbergh was a star goaltender. Uh, 1984, Tom Barrasso wins it. Steve Eiserman's the runner-up. So, of course, we know the career Eiserman's had. It's interesting because Barrasso wins Stanley Cups, and he's a good starting goaltender. But I think we'd still argue that Eiserman had a better overall career. Sylvain Turgeon was third. And then under the noteworthy category in red is Alan Bester, uh, goaltender for the Leafs. You had to be brave to be behind the Leafs' defense at that point. And it was Bester, and it was Reggett. And, yeah, I felt bad for them often. 1985, Mario Lemieux wins it. Nobody's going to argue Lemieux wasn't the best in his rookie class. Chelios was second. Steve Penny was third, ahead of uh, Kirk Muller, sixth, and John Van Beesbrook, who I just did the career video on, was 14th in Calder voting that year. 1986, uh, Greg Suter ends up winning the... Uh, Gary Suter, sorry. Gary Suter ends up winning the, the Calder trophy that year. Uh, Wendell Clark was second, and Shel Dahlin was third. Uh, Montreal Canadian player... Also a Montreal Canadian player, Patrick Waugh, who finished fifth. Uh, he would, he would, uh, he'd be okay with that because he'd win the Stanley Cup that year. So Stanley Cup absolutely overrules Calder. Uh, 1987, Luke Robitaille wins it. Ron Hextall was second. Jimmy Carson was third. Pokey Reddick was fifth on the list that year. Again, I just like to say Pokey Reddick. So there it is. It's on the board. 1988, Joe Newendike wins it. Joe Newendike, excellent Hall of Famer. Number two was Ray Shepard. Number three, Panger, Darren Pang, third in Calder voting, ahead of Brett Hull, who was fifth. And I don't think Panger would mind me saying the last time he'd be ahead of Brett Hull in anything. Because uh, Brett Hull, of course, kind of a big deal. And number five in the Calder voting, 1989, Brian Leach wins it. No argument with Leach. Trevor Linden second, Tony Granados third. Uh, fifth on the list was Craig Janney, who had a lot of assists in his career. Number eight is a guy named Joe Sackick. So again, number eight's Joe Sackick on the list. Num 1990, uh, Sergei M Makarov comes over and wins it, which starts the discussion of should he have been allowed to win it? The answer is no. Uh, so the ages drop down to 26 if you're for your cutoff. I think he was 31 when he won the Calder. So it robs Mike Medano of the Calder Trophy. Jeremy Roenick was second. Uh, if you don't allow Makarov in there. And Brenda Moore would have been third on the list, but he ends up fourth, and Mark Recchi was fifth. That is a loaded rookie class with Medano, Roenick, Brenda Moore, and Recchi. 1991, Ed Belfour ends up winning the Calder over Sergei Fedorov. And again, Belfour, absolutely fantastic Hall of Fame career, but would you take him over Fedorov when they're in their primes? Probably not. Fedorov, one of the best two-way forwards in the game, and he's able to play on the blue line if he needs to. Ken Hodge. Ken Hodge Jr. was third on the, on, on the board. And the interesting thing is that I, I remember being really excited about Ken Hodge when I was a, a Bruins fan in, in my late teens. Yeah, late teens. Uh, Mike Richter was fourth on the list. Yermer Yager was sixth. And Matt Sundin was seventh in Calder voting. So, yeah. Uh, 1982, Pavel Bure won it, even though he came into the league a bit after the season had started. So he wins it over Nick Lidstrom and Tony Amonti. And there was a lot of people who felt Amonti should have won it that year. Um, and Darian Hatcher was seventh on the list. So that's that's Burry beating Lidstrom. And again, over their careers, I think you'd take Lidstrom over Burry. 
1993, Timo Solani ends up winning it. Joe Juno was second. Felix Potvin was third. Eric Lindros ends up fourth on the list that year in Calder voting. So again, I would probably take Lindros's career over Potvin's. 1994, Marty Berdur ends up winning the Calder. No argument there. Uh, Jason Arnott's number two. Michael Renberg is third, ahead of Alexi Yashin, who is fourth. And Chris Osgood ends up fifth that year. And of course, Osgood went on to have an excellent career. 1995, no arguments with the top three here. There wasn't anybody outside the top three that I thought necessarily gets any consideration. Uh, it's it's P Peter Forsberg wins it. Uh, Jim Carrey, the net detective, was second. And Paul Correa was third. But it is definitely interesting that Korea is behind Carey because, again, it's about that rookie year, right? 1996, Daniel Alfredson wins it. Eric Daze was second. Ed Jovanovski is third. Uh, Saku Koivu ends up fourth. Miroslav Satan ends up 11th. And Todd Bertuzzi was 12th. So Todd Bertuzzi was slow to get started into the, uh, the upper echelon of the league. Eventually, he'd be one of the best power forwards in the game. That would be after he'd left the Islanders and joined the Canucks. 1997, Brian Burrard ends up winning the Calder that year. Jerome McGinley was the runner-up. Jim Campbell's third. Wade Redden was sixth on the list. So again, uh, you look over their careers. I'm pretty sure people would take McGinley's career over Burrard's, whose, sadly, his career was shortened. Uh, the eye injury absolutely hurt Burrard's career. But even if Burrard had been healthy the whole way through, I, I'm pretty sure McGinley would have had the better career. 1998, uh, Sergei Sam Samsonov uh, ends up getting... The Sergey Samsonov, right? Yeah. Uh, anyways, from from Boston, uh, you guys all remember Samsonov. Uh, he finished ahead of Oland and Eliash. And while I liked Samsonov in Boston, it's before we pronounce it Samsonov. Uh, Eliash would be the one that I'd rather have the career of. And Patrick Marlowe ends up sixth. Marlowe was slow to to get up to that next level too. 1999, Chris Drury ends up winning the trophy over Marion Hosa. Uh, Milan Hayduk was third and 14th. Vinny LeCavalier, who did not have a great rookie season. 2000, Scott Gomez wins it over Stewart. Um, Mike York was third on the voting that year. Alex Tangay fifth, and Brian Rafalski was 11th. 2001, Evgeny Nabokov ends up winning the trophy. Brad Richards is second. Martin Havlat is third. Marion Gabrick finished seventh in voting. Daniel Sedin eighth. The Sedin twins were very slow to get up to that next level. Uh, Roberto Luongo was ninth. So, interesting that Nabokov wins it, Luongo ninth, and again, it's that same thing of Nabokov had a very good career, not going to argue against it, Luongo, better of the two goalies. 2002, uh, Danny Heatley ends up winning it, 15.07. Uh, Kovalchuk's second, and Christian Huselius was third. Uh, Datsuk, you may remember this Datsuk guy, he ends up being fourth in the vote. He was a pretty good player for the Red Wings. And Mika Kiprasov ends up tenth in the voting. 2003, Barrett Jackman wins the vote, which, of course, to this day, people question. Uh, Zetterberg was second, which doesn't make the Jackman win look better. Uh, and Rick Nash was third, and then Jay Bomeister was seventh on the list. Barrett Jackman had a very good rookie season. He was a fantastic shutdown defenseman at, uh, in parts, but I, I would still say Zetterberg was a better player. 2004, Andrew Raycroft ends up winning it. Uh, Michael Ryder was second on the list. Trent Hunter ends up finishing third in voting. And this guy, Patrice Bergeron, ends up eighth. And Eric Stahl ends up 15th in Calder vote. 2006, Alex, Alex Ovechkin wins it. Uh, Crosby second. Dion Phaneuf is third. Henrik Lundqvist finishes behind Phaneuf. He's fourth. Uh, Jeff Carter's 11th. And Ryan Suter's 15th in the vote. So very good rookie class that year. Keep in mind. There was no 0405 season, so you got two rookie classes for the price of one that year. That's how you get such a loaded rookie class. 2007, Evgeny Malkin ends up winning the trophy. Uh, Stastny was second on the list. Uh, Jordan Stahl ends up third. Kopitar ends up fourth, so Kopitar doesn't make it as a finalist. And Phil Kessel was 11th. Uh, he had a, a slow start with the Boston Bruins. 2008, it's Patrick Kane's award. Nick Backstrom ends up second. Jonathan Taves third. Just outside the top three, not a finalist, is Carey Price. 2009, Steve Mason wins the trophy. Bobby Ryan was second, and Chris Versteeg was third. So it must not have been a great rookie class, but it was. Pekka Rene was fourth, Drew Doughty's fifth, Steven Stamkos is ninth because of the slow start he had with a coach that didn't have a lot of faith in him, and Jonathan Quick ends up 16th in the vote, and Claude Giroux ends up 19th. And it's just, it's a single vote, 
uh, that's just kind of a, a recognition of Giroux having a decent year. He went on to have a pretty good career with the Flyers, and now he's with Florida. 2010, Tyler Myers wins the award. Jimmy Howard second, Matt Duchesne's third. But again, you look through the rest of that class. You've got Tuka Rask fourth, John Tavares is fifth, uh, Jamie Benz seventh, Victor Hedman is ninth, and Evander Kane is tenth. So you can look at the top three and say, well, that's not a fantastic top three. Right, but it was still a very good uh, rookie class. I keep wanting to say draft class. I'm going to apologize now for any time I slip up and say draft class. 2011, Jeff Skinner wins the trophy. Logan Couture's number two. Michael Grabner, number three, which made Canuck fans so happy at the time. Uh, John Carlson finished fifth in the vote. Uh, Bobrovsky was seventh. Taylor Hall was ninth. And Brad Marchand was twelfth. And again, the guys that are in the 12, 15, 11, those spots, these are guys who are just getting a vote here or a vote there. There's not a lot being put behind them. It's just a writer basically saying, hey, I know this guy's not going to win it, but he had a pretty good year and he's a pretty good player. 2012, Gabriel Landeskog wins the trophy. Nugent Hopkins is the runner-up. Henrik was third behind them. And Sean Couturier ends up ninth. So Couturier has turned into a pretty good forward himself. 2013, Huberto wins it. Gallagher was second, Montreal Canadiens, Brandon Gallagher, and then Brandon Saad was third. Uh, Dougie Hamilton ends up 11th, and Vlad Tarasenko ends up 12th. So again, this is, and, and this is the reason why I'm doing this, because this is a video I can just go ahead and just link to people. Anytime somebody's like, I don't understand why this guy won the Calder, and that's just, that's ridiculous. Then we can just point back to, this is how the Calder works. 2014, Nathan McKinnon wins it, so that's the Nathan McKinnon jersey. Palat was second and Johnson's third. So two Tampa Bay Lightning members second and third on the list. Jacob Truba was seventh. Hampus Lindholm, or no, Truba was sixth. Hampus Lindholm was seventh. Uh, Seth Jones is 11th. And Tomas Hurdle was 14th. So that, again, is a loaded rookie class. 2015, Ekblad wins the trophy. Mark Stone second. Johnny Goudreau's third. That's an excellent top three. And just outside the top three is Philip Forsberg in fourth. And Anders Lee was ninth. 2016, Artemi Panarin wins it. Number two is Shane Gostisbehere. Number three is Connor McDavid. Remember, he got hurt during his rookie year, but now we can look back and say, yeah, but he was still the best player. Panarin wins for the best rookie season. Uh, Jack Eichel was fourth in the voting. Dylan Larkin's fifth. Sam Reinhart's ninth. And both Slavin and Duclair end up being tenth, share, uh, tied for tenth in the vote that year. So some Florida, some Florida in this uh, current Florida Panthers. 2017, of course, I'll end it there because 2018 till now, uh, there's still others in that rookie class that may end up being a pretty big deal. Uh, 2017, you've got Matthews winning it over Line, who was second. Wierenski was third. Marner ends up fifth. Nylander ends up sixth. So three of the top six are Toronto Maple Leafs. Matthew Kachuk, seventh. Brendan Aho was eighth. And Braden Point, tenth. Tenth in the vote. So when we're talking about the Calder and who's going to win between Cider and Raymond and, oh, I can't believe this guy's going to drop out and this guy's being underrated. Yeah, that's how rookie classes kind of end up working out. But there you go. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always. And here's the challenge. So we can all agree with who the, the, the front runners are. Which player do you think from this year's draft class or draft, see, there's draft class. Which player from this year's rookie class who is right now still considered a rookie do you think won't get a lot of votes, but we will look back on, say, 10 years, 15 years down the road and say, what a great rookie that kid was. He didn't end up getting the vote, but he ended up being one of the best players out of that class. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through, you just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.